Hello YouTube, today I'm in Counter-Strike Global Offensive and I'm going to show you how the new crosshair and crosshair settings work. So basically what Valve did is changed what CL underscore crosshair, crosshair style 2 does um, and they changed it from what it was before which you may or may not know to a new crosshair which actually displays a similar amount of information to CL underscore crosshair style and then zero, the default crosshair, which nobody uses because it's rubbish, actually displays a similar amount of information to that. But let's put uh, style back to two, because this is the new crosshair. And you'll see it's essentially got little bits that come out of the crosshair. And it's also got a center part of the crosshair, which doesn't expand as much. And I'll explain how this works in just a second. Basically, the crosshair is actually just a normal crosshair, but after a certain distance, a, cert a certain like distance away from the center of the screen, it, um, it splits up. And it splits up into two parts, obviously. So you've got the part that stays in the center and that's locked and that's as far as away from the center as that part of the crosshair can get. It doesn't depend on the gun or anything. And then the outer part actually shows your actual spread and things like that. So the outer part's the bit that actually gives you the information. The inner part is just there to let you still see where your center of your screen is and to be a bit more clear. It it does move within that uh, distance that um, that it can move away from the center, which is one of the commands I'll show you in a second. It does move while you uh, shoot as well. It does react to shooting. And yeah, it looks kind of good so far. Um, but let's go through the commands that actually affect this crosshair in particular. Obviously, all the other commands do actually work for it. But uh, the commands for this are all the commands that are CL underscore crosshair underscore dynamic underscore and then the extra part of the command. So the first command is underscore max dist underscore split ratio and this essentially controls how much of the crosshair splits away and keeps going after you hit the sort of um, maximum distance away from the center that the main part of the crosshair can go. So it controls how much of the crosshair splits away and you can set this to zero if you don't want any of it to split away and that'll do what this is doing here. Anyway, let's put that back to 0 0.5, so half of the crosshair splits away. And let's take a look at the next command. So the next two commands actually are very similar. They're split alpha underscore inner mod and outer mod. So inner mod is essentially, uh, inner mod and outer mod are both multipliers for your normal crosshair alpha. So if your normal crosshair alpha is 255 or completely solid, then uh, if you set your inner mod or outer mod to 0 0.5, then it'd be half that. If you set it to 1, it'd be still completely solid. Um, inner mod is obviously for the inner part of the crosshair. Outer mod is for the outer part of the crosshair. So if we set the outer mod, um, which I'll do here, to 1, then the outer part of the crosshair, as we strafe, will still be completely um, you know, block color. It won't be half sort of see-through. Um, so that's what inner mod and outer mod do. They're pretty simple. But uh, the next part, the, probably the most interesting part, is split dist. Now this actually, as I was saying before, controls the distance away from the center that they start to split up. So if I change the split dist to something like 20, you'll see they split up really far away from the center. And if I set it all the way to something like 100, then they don't split up at all because, you know, 100 is really far away and you can actually see if I jump and move at the same time they do split up because they do get past 100, 100 distance away from the center. If I set it to 150 they probably won't. See? Yep, there we go. They don't. And that actually behaves in the same way as CL underscore crosshair style 3, which is like this. See? So that's, that's the only difference really is the split dist. Um, so it almost makes crosshair style 3 completely pointless, uh, but it's not, I guess. So let's go back to crosshair style 2 for a second, and uh, where this is useful is if you want to, hold on a second, sp change split disk to something like um, 3, and then if we move about make split ratio 0, then you've actually got a crosshair that's pretty much the same as the old CL underscore crosshair style 2. So actually, you don't really need the crosshair style 3 anymore, that's kind of completely pointless, it can all be done with this version of the crosshair, and yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. And it works quite well, there's a lot of customizability there, it can give you a bit more information, but you can also still set it so it's like it was just before, where, you know, the split disk is quite low, 
therefore, and there's no splitting at all, so it just gets sort of capped a certain amount away from the center. And you can actually, you know, it gives you a bit more customizability over the old uh, CL underscore cross out style too, because you can actually change how far away from the center it will do that. So, for example, this gun hub, you know, doesn't get as accurate as the AK, and you can see that still. So it's it's useful because it gives you sort of the first shot accuracy without telling you much about the recoil. And I think that's why a lot of people use uh, this crosshair. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope it uh, explained at least a little bit what the new crosshair settings and crosshair do. Um, if you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up or a favourite. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.